For the following exercises, sketch a line with the given features. So the first one says we have to have an x-intercept of negative 4, 0, and a y-intercept of 0, comma, negative 2. So remember, the term x-intercept, all that that means is the point at which the line crosses the x-axis, and the y-intercept is similar uh, just in case for the y, right? So it would be the point at which the uh, line would intersect the y-axis. So why don't we first draw an axis? So let's say we draw a nice little straight line there. I'm going to draw a nice little straight line there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to now plot, essentially, these two points. Let's first start with the x-intercept. It tells us negative 4, 0. What that means is that I have to go, remember, coordinates are always, always written x, y. So first thing is I have to go to my x-coordinate of negative 4. Remember, going to the left here is negative. So I'm going to go out four spots. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, let's plot that. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do, and, and notice, and, and then I have to also consider, by the way, right, what's the y coordinate, but it says the y is zero. Well, that should make sense, right? I don't want to take, I don't want to take this particular point and kind of, oop, and move the line with it. I don't want to take that point and move it up or down because then it would have a y value, right? This would have a positive one, positive two. This would have had a negative one, negative two. So I want the y value to be 0. And notice that that would be the point at which it crosses then the x-axis, a.k.a. the x-intercept. Same thing now, not to belabor the point, let's do the y-intercept. So it's going to have an x value of 0, meaning we're not going to go left or right, we're just going to go up or down. And then we have to go down to negative 2, so right here. And now simply just draw the line, okay? I'm going to try to do this to the best of my ability, draw it as... Uh, right. <laughs> That's a pretty bad ability. Um, let me just try and angle this a little better. I think possibly something like that will work fairly well. Okay, that should work fairly well. So there's the line, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. And put your little arrows at the end. Let's fly through the next one. So the next one is now saying we have an x-intercept of negative 2, 0 and a y-intercept of 0, comma 4. So quickly, draw your axes. I'm actually just going to simply copy this. Right, I'm cheating a little bit here. Plot that right there. Let's plot the x-intercept. It's going to be negative two zeros, so it's going to be right here. And then the y-intercept of 0, comma 4. So that's going to be up 1, 2, 3, 4, right there. And now draw your line. I'm going to try to line that up as best that I can. And that looks fairly, meh. It looks fairly close, right? Maybe something like that. Okay, close enough, right? And there's the line. And that's that's literally it. All right? So, guys, I hope this video helped. If it did, help us out. Tell your friends. Subscribe. Hit the like button. Smash the like button. Demolish it. I don't know. Mutilate it. Whatever they say now. Okay? We look forward to helping with more questions. Be well.